Since the Carolina Hurricanes exit from the Stanley Cup playoffs, I've had several concerned podcast listeners ask me, hey, Joe, what am I going to do now? Well, I have excellent news for you. Now is the time to get on the Carolina Panthers bandwagon. Unlike their hockey brethren, the Panthers are not going to have to spend 10 years in playoff purgatory. Here's why. The Panthers' playoff list streak is going to end in 2023 at a mere five years. You're going to be surprised at the difference of having an actual functional professional coach is going to make, as opposed to whatever we saw from Matt Rule in two and a half years. Rule's incompetence aside, though, there's plenty of reasons for optimism that the Panthers will win the NFC South division in Frank Reich's debut this season. The additions of running back Miles Sanders, tight end Hayden Hurst, receivers DJ Chark, Adam Thielen, and rookie receiver Jonathan Mingo, they're going to go a long ways in helping new franchise quarterback Bryce Young. I still don't agree with the price that the Panthers paid for Young, but the time was right for the Panthers to stop treading water and to make a splash. Young, the rookie from Alabama, will be a splash in year one. In Pete Rozelle's Any Given Sunday Paragon of Parody, on an average, six different teams make the playoffs each year. In 18 of the past 20 years, at least one team has gone from worst in its division to first. I'm going to slightly bend the rules here because there were three teams tied at 7-10 and 10 in the NFC South last year, but let's run with it. The one team that finished ahead of the Panthers in the division last year, they have to replace their starting quarterback. Perhaps you've heard of him. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. He's won a Super Bowl, or two, or seven. I don't know. Without Brady, the Bucks are at the same starting point as the Panthers, the Falcons, and the Saints. The schedule is a dream, too. There's the six winnable games in the division, and then they have crossover games with the equally pathetic AFC South and the suddenly Aaron Rodgers-less NFC North. So do yourself a favor. Find a guy who knows a guy, or you can just drive up to Danville take the Panthers to hit their season total over of seven and a half. Take the Panthers at plus 201 to make the playoffs and take the Panthers at plus 341 to win the NFC South. You can thank me next January, or maybe you can buy an ad for the OG. That is your shot of Joe to go. Don't throw it away.